if you have any desire to acquire a business, to be a business owner, to learn from guys who are, from people who are actually doing it, um, I, I wouldn't hesitate at all. I, th these guys are the real deal. Most of my friends are entrepreneurs. Uh, I haven't been around a lot of people who do acquisitions for a living. These guys do that. They are by far the most qualified guys I've seen uh, to, to teach this stuff. The quality is unparalleled. I mean, there's, there's hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue in this room. There's people from all walks of life, people from all different industries, people with all different backgrounds. Uh, the connections here th that you make are, are really first class. I met a gentleman today, he's a, uh, he's a data guy. And he, he, scout, he scrapes data for companies, for B2B service businesses. Uh, then he, he crafts campaigns for you, and that's what we've been struggling with. We've been struggling to reach out to our B2B clients uh, and, and get in front of them. So I made a connection with him today, and we're probably going to engage him next week. So I was on the fence on whether or not to raise a fund to go out and start buying more businesses. And I think the, the, the information I learned here this week was that I need to do it. Uh, the only way I'm going to be able to take the next step in my career, in my wealth building, is really to go leverage other people's money. Um, and hearing some of the speakers today really confirm that. You know, Michael and Kyle are really friendly guys. Uh, Kyle's a friend of mine. You know, for the last couple of years, we get together for coffee once a month, and they are super willing to talk with anybody in the room. In fact, someone was just speaking about a deal he had. He was not an inner circle member. He had a deal, didn't know what to ask the seller. Michael jumped on the phone with him in the seller and, and pitched in. Michael wasn't, he wasn't you know, benefiting from that. He didn't get any, any pay for that. He did it because he wanted to take care of one of his members. Um, so the proximity is excellent. Uh, they're very friendly guys and they make themselves available. It, it tens of thousands of dollars easily, just in, in the connections we've made, some of the tactics I've learned, um, the proximity to some of these people that I'm, I'm looking to connect with. Uh, it might take you months to, to find you know, one of these guys to connect with. It might take you years to develop the skill set that you learn here in a, in a few minutes. So, I mean, it's, it's really immeasurable, to be honest. The, the, on the fundraising side, the way I'm going to go structure my fund, I, I, I learned that here. Um, the, the B2B service outreach, the data scraping, I've learned that. Um, and, and again, like I mentioned earlier, just thinking bigger. You know, putting that, Magnus talked about it earlier today, uh, you know, that, that 10 year goal, what action am I going to take today to, to march towards that 10 year goal? Setting that and then kind of reverse engineering it.